This winter's snow is still weeks, even months away from melting, but preparations are underway from when it comes down from the mountains. Fox 13's John Franke explains why managers at Utah Lake are already making room. This is actually a good problem to have. It means we have an abundance of water, but it also creates a concern. There's been no shortage of snow this winter. Sometimes it seems like it won't ever stop. But sure enough, spring and warmer temperatures will get here, meaning that snow melt needs a place to go. The issue now is Utah Lake doesn't have much room. We predicted that the Utah Lake inflow would be 102% of average, which turns out to be about 270,000 acre feet of water. It really is a simple math issue. Utah Lake's capacity is 871,000 acre feet of water. Right now, it's holding 827,000, meaning it has room for about 44,000. Jordan Clayton with the Utah Snow Survey predicts Lake will get about 270,000 acre feet of water from this year's snowpack, about six times more than the current available space. They certainly are dealt a tricky hand each year with wanting to maximize the storage. So what do you do when you run out of space? You make some more. That's why Utah Lake managers are opening the floodgates, releasing water into the Jordan River. We have uh, three more months of predicted normal precipitation, which will add to the existing snowpack. So it is better to release water now under moderate control conditions versus later with little or no control. The water from Utah Lake will eventually get to the Great Salt Lake. What you're going to see is just a gradual increase in the depth of the river. You're not going to see a wall of water or big chunks of ice. As the water makes its journey, the river depth will increase by about three feet. That's reason enough for anyone who goes near it to be extra careful. Anytime you increase the flow in a river system, it creates a, an element of danger. My advice to families out there, particularly with children, to keep them away from the river. That water is extremely cold, but it's a crucial resource that right now is plentiful in our state. You may be wondering why this was not an issue last year after a snowy winter. Remember, we were coming off a drought and our lakes and reservoirs had plenty of space. They have filled up quite nicely in this past year. In the newsroom, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.